New game. Everything in this game sounds important by the music playing. <laughs> There's snipers everywhere. Shut up. Yeah, it was a neat effect. Episode 1, The Lamb and the Tiger. All right. From William Merrick, sent Thursday, 5.18 p.m. to Cassandra Clark. Cadet Clark, your excellent performance throughout the Academy these past 24 months has not gone unnoticed. You have ranked in the top percentile of graduates, and it is my pleasure to offer you your first position within the DCPD. You'll be stationed at the District Crime Agency, the DCA, working at a police plaza, as a junior detective alongside Detective Nathaniel Huston. Further details will follow. We have no doubt you will prove to be a valued asset to the DCPD. Best wishes, Captain William Merrick. We're a cop? Barf. Hey, yo. Oh, come in. Uh, you, you can still come in. Okay. Left click to move and interact. Introduce yourself to Nate. What up, Nate? You must be Detective Nathaniel Huston. And you must be lost. All right, buddy. Just got here. Cassandra Clark, hi. I uh, usually don't usually get visitors down here. I've come from the academy. Didn't work out with the last intern. Maybe ask someone from upstairs. They didn't tell you I'm your new partner. I don't need... We're doing that? <laughs> we're doing the buddy cop movie? I don't need a partner. Let me guess. You don't talk about your last partner because your last partner got killed in the line of duty when it was all your fault. And I'll never replace them. All right. I'm sure you don't. It's always good to have another pair of hands, though, isn't it? Look, Clarissa, the district crime agency isn't where anyone goes to start their career. This is where they bury you. Cassandra, they call me Cass. I was stopping my class with degrees in criminology and sociology. Later, Jones. Thanks for watching. Also, there's no way that Cass just kind of says, uh, Cassandra, but call me Cass. If some dude disrespects you like that and says, listen, Clarissa... You won't just go Cassandra, but call me Cass. We're gonna we're gonna nip that in the bud right now. <clears throat> Class, how many hours in the job? Jeez, do yourself a favor and go back upstairs and tell them they're wasting your time and mine. I'm sorry my presence bothers you, Detective, but I've been handpicked for this job. Really? Because I just walked in off the street. I didn't come here to cause problems. I came to help. I want to learn everything there is to know. Look, if you really need to be here, go and don't cause problems over there. This isn't kindergarten. I don't have time to hold your hand. Yeah, see, this dude's got to catch one. This dude's talking recklessly. He's got to catch one. Oh, hey, what's up, Eric? I guess my alerts don't care about your sub, but I do. Thank you, Eric, for 34 months. I went to that bar we went to the last time you were here last weekend. It was very nostalgic. You mean you went to our last day spot without me? Wow, dude. All right. Exactly, Spider. It's exactly what you do. 
It's time to clip nails. Disgusting. How was it, Eric? Also, I like your new shoes. Great, you won't need to. Press AD to rotate the camera. Oh, you don't hold it down, you just press it. WS to zoom in and out. Or mouse scroll wheel of God. Not bad. Nate's kind of an asshole. Choose an unlock crime note to start an investigation. Scene 1 1 location in Daniel's residence. Alright. The adorable old man chef owner was there and looks stuck to be certain people again. That's cool, man. That's really cool. Hopefully, we'll get a chance to go back together. That's dope. What'd you get? Daniel's residence, Midtown, 9 p.m. Big Apple, 3 a.m. I guess this must be Frank Daniels. It is. I recognize him from the TV. Who called it in? The neighbors said they heard a gunshot around 7.30. My mom voted for him in the local last, last local election. You know he won a pay rises for cops? Pay rises. Good night, sweet prince. Did they get us anything else to go on? That was it. So how about it? How about what? Well, you want to work at the DCA? Have at it, partner. Whoever did this wasn't taught to clean up after themselves. There's a lot of potential physical evidence lying around. Current objective, collect evidence and submit murder weapon. The objective is shown at the bottom of the screen, the beginning of each case and found again later. Complete objectives, progress the episode. Okay. You got many beers or croquettes and gyoza. I don't think you don't remember. Wait, when was this? Oh, last weekend. Okay. I was wondering if the, the beers were still in your system, just kind of chilling. You obviously shot from the window, but I can't prove that yet. I guess you should examine the victim more than anything first, right? <laughs> this is the workspace, which shows pieces of evidence gathered and links between them. Gathering evidence from items and suspects will help build a picture of the story. Okay. Moving and organizing evidence will help you group related items and neaten your view. Linking related contradictory evidence can unlock new dialogues and improve your score. You can watch videos again in the I menu. Here's all the evidence you found on Brank Daniel's body. But before we take a closer look, let's find some more evidence. Press that to return to the crime scene. Okay. Look at the icons. Okay, cool. Eric, there's a thing called Steam Next Fest happening with a bunch of indie game demos that won't be available after tomorrow morning. So I'm playing through a bunch of them because they're all dope indie games that are not out yet. And so far, I've played through, I think, 14. I've got nine more to go. Been some really good hits in there. Just give you an idea of what's actually happening. I'm just looking to experience all these games, you know? All right. What's this? They shot him with a letter opener. I knew it. This is laid out really well. This is actually really, really fun. Already, and I've barely done anything. This is the exact kind of game that I like to play. Caters to my very specific interest. Oh, a gun. <laughs> Nine millimeter. Just left the heater on the floor. You now have enough evidence to identify the murder weapon. The question mark icon shows unsubstantiated evidence that may need support it. Hover over the bullet wound and left click and do the same to the nine millimeter to draw a link between them. 
Notice the red line between them. Okay. You should also link 9mm shell casing to the handgun as supporting evidence. Later on, if you make a mistake, you can break a link by left clicking it. This is tight. You can also organize the workspace to make it neater. Toggle between link and organize mode by pressing that. Now, when you click on a node, it will follow the cursor until you left click again to place it. That's ill. On organized mode, you can select multiple nodes by hovering over a node and right clicking it to add to selection. Now, left clicking one of these nodes allows to move both around. Hey, yo. That's so cool. We have the weapon, but there's more evidence to find. Yay, yay. That dude's dead, dead. What's that portrait doing over here? I wonder if everything is still a heads up display. I love how he's literally letting me do all the work. What a buster. Legit watch me do everything. This dude's trifling. This is a buddy cop film. Closed window. Bolt shut. Okay. Open window. Each scene asks you to answer a series of questions related to who, what, why, where, when, and how for the case. For instance, who is the killer? Right? Some questions may have multiple answers. For instance, maybe two weapons that can be attached to a single what node. The slots show the number of expected answers. Ah, so two who's, two why's, three what's. Once you've filled all the slots, the blah, blah, blah button is unlocked. Choose this if you were happy with your decision, but beware you only get three attempts. Tight. You should only submit substantiated evidence. If you are trying to submit a Y note with no supporting evidence, try linking the evidence to remove the blank icon. Okay. Hovering over a panel on the right will reveal the crime scene objective again, so you can access it any time. Okay. To complete a crime scene, you must submit answers to any questions that appear on the right. Left click on the what note on the right, and then on the 9mm handgun to link them. Notice the chain on the handgun. This indicates it has been selected as an answer. I guess. I did it. <laughs> Thanks, dog. Easy game. Thanks, Twafo. How long will it take the lab to check the gun for fingerprints? Forever. And how about testing the blood? The blood on the broken glass probably belongs to our killer. Eternity. So what do we do next? I don't know. If only we had someone who was handpicked by the Academy to help us. All right. Let's talk to his wife. I'd be keen to know where she was when all this was going down. I'm busy at the funeral parlor right now. How about we check out his office? Thank God Cassandra and her top grades are here to guide us. Lead the way. See, nah. See, nah, 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 nah. Nate. Nah, 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 nah. Nate won't speak to me that way. I promise you that. Are you kidding me? They're going to let some dude named Nate talk to you this way? Serious? Looking like an off brand statue of David. All the way through, if you know what I mean. He looks like the statue of David. You know what it looks like? Nate looks like the main character from Braid. <laughs> Disrespect me like that. You better rewind time and correct yourself if something bad happened to you. Nate.
Nate gonna collect all the hands for evidence. I hate Nate. Oh, coffee? Thank you. Select the information button to view helpful topics at any time. Okay. I didn't ask. I'm just trying to enjoy a cup of Joe. Don't backseat me, game. I think Nate. Yeah. Me too. I also think Nate. I'm not, Spider. Shot dead in his home. Potential evidence. Frank Daniels victim. Let's get it. If you know like I know, you don't want to step to this. Midtown, 10 a.m. So these are the corridors of power. Not much to write home about. At least it's not a basement. Touche. Find a suspect and potential motive for the murder. Please don't cough in here. That's disgusting. Who's she? Hey, yo. Hi, I'm Detective Clark. I was told this is where I could find Frank Daniels' secretary, Miss Rabino. Mrs. Rapineau, hello. Sorry, Mrs. Rapineau. Please call me Nadine. I will call you Nadine. Nadine, and I'm very sorry for your loss. Thank you, it's just such a shock. You mind if I ask you a few questions about Frank Daniels? Of course, whatever I can do to help. Um, yeah, Nadine and Frank's relationship. How was your relationship with Frank? I've been his secretary for just over three years, and as far as the office is concerned, I was across everything. As you can imagine, he was a very busy man. How was your relationship outside of the office? Detect up, I barely have time to wipe my kids' noses before they go to school, never mind socialize with my boss. Yes, yeah, not what I asked you. What about Frank's character? What was Frank like as a person? Kind, caring. He was an old school gentleman, holding doors open for me, you know? He was also a workaholic, never took a break, never out of the office, meaning I was never out of the office. Okay, and what's your alibi? Yeah, where were you last night, Nadine? Am I a suspect? Answer the fucking question. We're just looking to establish who was where and when. I was at home with my husband and the kids. Taco Thursday. See, I already don't, I already don't trust Nadine because no one does Taco Thursday. Taco Thursday is the kind of thing a murderer does. That'll be all for now, Mrs. Rapineau. Thank you for your time, Nadine. If you don't mind, we'll continue to look around the office. If you need anything, just ask. I don't think I will. Nadine Rapineau. Who? We don't know who yet. Right. We certainly don't know why yet. But we will. We will soon. What we got here? Newspaper. That's too much, man. <laughs> All to tell me it was important. Mother fuck, it's so much. Come on, buddy. <sighs> what could be the tightest like national race we've seen here in a decade? Early posts show Frank Daniels has a favor uh, favorability rating of 42% to Johnson's 41%, Herrera's 17%. If, as many commentators suspect, this becomes a two-horse race, many of Herrera's supporters will vote for Daniels. Come January, nobody should be very surprised if Frank Daniels is being sworn in. 
Daniels has made a name for himself as the people's politician. From the beginning, the Daniels team have strived to get the message out there that he wants to govern for everyone, stating the only radical thing that he wants to do is to make sure people aren't living in poverty. His moderate policy proposals have proved unpopular or proved popular on both sides of the aisle. Although Daniels borders on vociferous when asked about his views on controlling the sale of handguns in the state. Sources inside the Daniels campaign have said that he repeatedly refused to soften his stance and that they were initially worried about his can't make everyone happy attitude. Ousting the sitting governor with rising approval ratings will be no mean feat, but Frank Daniels seems to be steadily proving his campaign team wrong. Back to you. Okay. Good to know. People are angry about Daniel's views on handguns. He's leading in the polls. He's the people's politician. Okay. I guess that's good to know. What this campaign photo. Is that helpful? Can I look at it? You can't just say campaign photo and not give me an opportunity to look at the campaign photo. What am I going to do with this? Thanks. We could search his trash and we should, we should search his trash, honestly. Kind of a rookie mistake to not search his trash. What's happening over here behind this desk? Y'all, 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 y'all. What you reading, Frank? Oh, okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Water treatment ribbon cutting, black tie dinner, 7 p.m. to late. The murder took place at 7.30 p.m. We arrived at the scene on 9 p.m., right? This is right after the attack proposals and the campaign finance calls. Okay. Yeah, black tie event, 7 p.m. till late. Let's have another conversation with Nadine about what the haps is. Yo, Nadine. Hey, boo boo. You know, if Frank had any enemies, and all the time that you work for Frank, my Google just spoke to me and I don't know why it needs to stop. And all the time that you work for Frank, did he have any enemies that you know of? Anyone out to get him, that sort of thing? No, nothing like that. Certainly no one that would want to kill him. But, but, Frank was a politician. He had plenty of people who disagreed with him. Any more than returned the favor. Uh, for example, he was no friends of the gun lobby. Who was Frank working on? Somehow, between his work on the water commission, his tax policies, and support the free high school lunches, we were running a campaign. Can't believe it's all over now. Hey, whose hand is Frank shaking in the picture? Is that who I think it is? Yeah, that's Governor Johnson. He works closely with Frank. He looks very friendly. How is their relationship? Detective, that photo is an exercise in public relations. Frank opposed a lot of what Governor Johnson was proposing for the city. So they weren't exactly friends. I often hear Frank getting heated on calls with the governor, but Frank had a tendency to get heated on most calls. When you've worked in politics as long as I have, you learn that it's all part of the process. Psst, not for Philadelphia 76ers. <laughs> you know, this, I'm sorry, that's too soon. My bad. People with egos all thinking they know best. That'll be all for now, thanks. Governor Johnson, my rival. Member of the gun lobby. Possibly? Campaign photos. Okay. Okay, move this over here. 
campaign photo right there. Okay, it's Daniels' rival. Frank. Um, <clears throat> Frank Daniels. Okay. Was in the campaign photo as well. Link those two together. Okay. Here we go. Time of death around 7.30 p.m. Clearly those two are linked together. Shot at home workaholic. It's my rival. Hmm. Okay. This is good. Link that together. It's Frank's secretary, home with family. Angry about Daniel's food for the politician. Daniel leading rivals in polls. You can't substantiate everything. Thanks, game. Nice. Okay, nice. You want to move down here, please? Thank you. Nadine Rapineau. Mm, Frank's secretary. I don't know if Nadine was his rival. Guess we'll find out soon enough, right? Any more questions? I'll be all for now, thanks. If you know like I know, you don't want to step to this. I don't think I'm missing anything, but I'm going to have a look-see around and make sure. I hate the movement. I wish I could just, instead of doing sharp 45-degree angles, I wish I could just use my mouse to turn it as I wish, but I understand how this may be easier for the developer. That's fine. Make it work. Was there really no other evidence in the room? Need a bit more time. I don't want to keep talking to you, Nate. I'm pretty sure that's all the evidence in the room. Wow. Okay, so I've got to utilize what I have so far in order to unlock what I want. Okay. So Daniels is rival. Hmm. Potential motive for the murder? Probably. I wonder if Governor John could be the who. And why? Maybe this? Trash bin? Well, that's what I thought beforehand, but... I don't know. I need more information on Nadine Rapineau, though. Wait, is she related to this? Daniels' rival. New dialogue unlocked. Okay. Yeah, but I thought trash bin right away too, but there's no icon in the trash bin. I think all the evidence we have right now is just based on linking things together. Also, hello, Zama. New dialogue unlocked. Where? Part with Nate, I guess. Ask Nate about rival between Johnson and Daniels. There we go. Seems like Daniels is creeping ahead in the polls. I'm guessing Governor Johnson would be privately relieved. Are you saying Daniels' murder was politically motivated? What? No, I just... Think about it. Who benefits the most from this? I've thought about it. You're reaching Huston. 
Johnson was not taking out the competition. Was he? We can't rule anything out. Politically motivated. Johnson arranged Daniel's hit? Oh no. Hmm. Let's do, let's move stuff around. Get these two. Move these over here. Do that right there. Okay. Move these two, not these. Move these over here. to this okay this I'm actually happy it has an organization mode because this is the exact kind of thing I need to keep my stuff well organized I still can't prove that she was going to the black tie event though that's the thing The other trash bin had it? What? Did it? I'll take a look-see. Hold on. Okay. Nate was the trash bin? All right, you. No more talking for you. You are not helpful. That's a good joke, though. Don't, don't thumbs up me. Don't, don't thumbs up me. Get that out of my face. Okay, there's that. I gotta stop clicking everything I see. Okay. Do you feel like a chain store? Okay. There we go. Nice. Politically motivated, I'm gonna go Did I unlock a new dialogue? Down here, I don't like the way you look. Mm. Move that down there. Okay. Now, let's see. We can't prove he was the black tie event. Dean Rapino. Governor Johnson, Frank Daniels in the campaign photo. Member of the gun lobby. Politically motivated. I like this game a lot, by the way. I don't want that to go unnoticed. I'm genuinely enjoying this. It's the exact kind of game <laughs> that makes me feel a certain way. Politically motivated. Let's 
do that right there. Angry about Daniel's gruesome handgun. True schedule. What do you know about Frank's schedule? We'll never know. Opened up no new dialogue. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, I need that hint to turn off because that's getting super annoying. I know it's just trying to help, but Jesus Christ. There. All right. Out some of the empty lobby to do new James' rival. Johnson arranged to hit on Daniel. It's politically motivated. Uh, probably not about the Vegas and handguns. It's probably about this, actually. Not about leading the rivals in the polls. Paper? Hmm. Nadine. Okay, I was trying to see if that unlocked a new option. Are you a member of the gun lobby, Nadine? We'll never know. Time of death? Are you a workaholic? No sense. Can't ask her about that. Or that. Hmm. Are you in the photo with him? We well, would have mentioned it if we asked you about that. Hello, hello, what game is this? Murder Mystery Machine. Welcome. Am I really not missing any evidence whatsoever? I'm really not. Thank you, anytime. Well, actually, not any time. Most of the time. Some of the time. You love these games? Me too. They're the exact kind of games that make me miserable because I think too hard about them. We don't know if we ever made it to the black tie event. That's the thing. Did you go that all right, tried that. It didn't work. Did he go? Interesting. There we go. The black tie event to the time of death. Right. Good link, Adrian. Thank you, Adrian. You said the shooting took place around 7.30, right? That's what the neighbor said, yeah. There's an event in Daniel's schedule starting at 7 last night. That means he didn't go to the event. I wonder why not. Good find. Keep at it. Is this from Steam? Yeah, there's an event called Steam Next Fest going on for at least the next, I want to say, 12 hours or so. And there's a bunch of indie games that are coming out, have come out recently or coming out in the next year. And they have a bunch of demos of their games out to try them out before their release. And then once the event is over, they will no longer have access to demos. You'll just have to follow news updates and things like that. Although this also is a mobile game I discovered earlier by someone else. So I guess you could try it on there, but I'm playing it on Steam. Hmm. 
Daniels didn't go to the event. Which means we don't know if his time of death was 7.30. Time of death around 7.30. We know Frank Daniels is in the campaign photo, as is Governor Johnson. He's a member of the gun lobby. We know that, too. Hmm. What was Nadine doing around 7.30, then? Well, we already asked that, didn't we? Pretty sure we did. We did. There's no way to know what Governor Johnson was doing around 7.30, right? Yeah. Daniels' rival. You weren't rivals, right? You had no reason to be. Yeah. Johnson arranged hit on Daniels. Could have taken place the time around death? Johnson's rival, maybe? Politically know better about that? About this? That? On the campaign photo? Gun lobby stuff? No. He was shot at home, though. We know that. Hmm. There was a black tie event at 7 p.m. till late. He didn't go to the event. So where did he go? He was at home. So why was he at home? There was an open window, though. But the window was barred shut, which means he had to open the window or someone had to be inside with him and climb out the window. Hmm. This is definitely Daniel's rival. The time of death around 7.30 is really bugging me. They could have heard a gunshot. Doesn't mean he died around 7.30 though. No. All right, Nadine. The only person who knew Frank's schedule was you, though. You knew Frank's schedule more than anybody. How come I can't connect you to the black tie event? How about why you didn't go to the event? Hmm. Plot doesn't thicken. <laughs> oh, new dialogue with her. Yeah, the event marked in the diary. You had Frank marked down for an event last night around the time of his death. It was the opening of the new water treatment plant. It's a big deal. Lots of jobs. Everyone's expecting Frank there. The press, his opponents. It had been arranged weeks before. He was shot at home when he was supposed to be at the event. Did you know he wasn't going to show? Yes. When he left the office around 6, he told me he changed his mind about the event and was going to stay home. He said he didn't like the optics being seen applauding the incumbent in the middle of a campaign. Hmm. That sound believable to you? 
I set up myself three weeks ago, but it was smart of Frank to do it last minute. You know, have people asking some questions about why Frank Daniels changed his mind about attending instead of just letting the governor pat himself on the back. Frank always had good instincts about how to steer up the narrative. Did anyone else know Frank was at home? I wasn't to answer questions from the press till after the event, and I didn't tell anyone else. Hmm, was expected at the event. Canceled last minute. The black tie event had been planned for weeks. Very interesting. You told no one else where Daniels was. Governor Johnson didn't know Daniels was at home. Hmm. If had been planned for weeks and he didn't know Daniels was at home, then the secretary is the only one who really knew about it. But she gave me way too much information to be a suspect, right? Right. Any rivals now? Newspaper? <clears throat> Didn't know where Daniels was. Okay, Nate doesn't have any more dialogue. We've definitely gotten all the evidence we can get in the room. So now it's just connecting the dots. Okay. Hmm. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Had been planned for weeks, told no one else where Daniels was. He was shot at home. How can this dude be shot at home? when didn't know Daniels was home. You know? Hmm. <clears throat> Cancel last minute. Didn't go to the event. Cancel last minute. Cancel last minute. Hmm. Had been planned for weeks. Wonder. No? No? Hmm. <clears throat> think, 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 think. Know that.
So it's two whys so far. <clears throat> two who's. Nadine and Governor Johnson. Unsubstantiated. It could be politically made of it, motivated. We don't know who, though. We have no proof that it was Governor Johnson or Nadine. What's that stand for again? Notes. Hmm. Think, 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 think. How can Johnson arrange the hit on Daniels we didn't know where he was? He was Huston, we have a problem. He didn't like that. Nobody liked you at the academy, did they? Your political motivation theory is a bust. If Johnson was expecting Daniels to be at the opening of the water treatment plant, why would he have sent a goon round to his home to take him out? I was just checking you were paying attention. It was a little far-fetched. Maybe we need to think closer to home. Maybe see what Rappenu knows about Frank's home life. Okay. Couldn't have planned the murder. Okay. This is a good game. I'm really enjoying it. Nadine, what about Frank's home life? It was just him and his wife. He wasn't one to talk about his private life very much. Frank worked a lot. Believe me, those late nights in the office can put a strain on a marriage. Define strain. More often than not, I was making an awkward call to Mrs. Daniels explaining that Frank wouldn't be home for dinner. How did Mrs. Daniels seem? Sometimes angry, like hold the phone away from my ear angry. Didn't seem like they were very happy, but I think she worried about him. She was always calling, asking where he was and when he'd be home. Oh, that sounds like motive. Nadine has a negative view of Daniels' home life. Wife was always asking where he was. Okay. Does the wife know, though? Are you sure it was only you who knew where Frank was? If his wife was always calling, asking where he was. Right, actually, Rosemary did call asking when Frank would be home. At some time before 7 last night. I told her I didn't know and that she had to call Frank at home. I guess it's lucky that Rosemary wasn't at home last night, too. Interesting. Wife knew he was home. How about that? Are we going with the classic now? That's the wife. Okay. Hmm. What's your relationship with life with the wife? We'll never know. Was there extra dialogue? Yep. Thought so. Apart from Mrs. Apart from Ms. Rapineau, the only person who knew Frank was at home was his wife, Rosemary Daniels. An unhappy marriage is as good as a reason to murder someone. Ouch. I won't ask what makes you say that. Nice work, though. Let's wrap up here and get back to the station. 
Unhappily married. Nice. Oops. <sighs> um, got to substantiate all the evidence. Nadine could go to us, to be honest. Hmm. That doesn't connect. I'm happily married because he was a workaholic. He said wrap up here. I don't know if that means take the clues that you have right now and submit them as to who you think it was and why. Let's find out. Seventy-five out of hundred success. Okay, all items, all evidence. Three out of six correct deductions. Okay, so the deductions are finalized. You have to finalize every single one of them. So the blue all goes away. So I did everything correctly except finish the deductions. Wow, this is really good. I've got to stop playing it, or I will keep playing it, and I have more games to play. I'll look into Rapino's alibi. You don't believe her? It's not really about what I believe now, is it? Objectively. <laughs> Objectivity will only get you so far, Cassandra. You're going to need to listen to your gut eventually. Cass, I may trust my gut, but I'm not sure a judge would. I mean, look at it. There's no time to worry about Nadine Rapino right now. For the ladies have to return. Rosemary Daniels is back. We can question her at home. This game's kind of tight. See, this is why I love Steam Next Best and any kind of indie game film or film, any kind of indie game festival, because there's so many games coming out that are high profile that look so good. You know what I mean? There's the Outer Worlds 2, which looks beyond outstanding. Uh, there's Deathloop coming out which also looks outstanding. There's Redfall coming out. There's, it's so funny. Like right now I'm trying to think of all the games and there's, I'm just overwhelmed by how many games there are. Uh, there's, uh, trying to finish my point, even though I know I'm trying to get to. There's Starfield coming out. Whenever that decides to come out. What I'm trying to say is that there's Halo coming out, obviously, as well. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn 2. There's all these big name AAA titles. But they may not be out for quite some time. Right? So what that means is, what do you play in the meantime? Right? Right? What do you play when you're waiting for Elden Ring? 
Murder Mystery Machine. That's what you play. And it's cool. I like this. So we'll chalk this one up as done for now. Yeah.